Carousels are a great way to incorporate more information, images, and videos into your piece without having a cluttered experience. Using the Cycle Next and Cycle Previous interactions, you can easily create custom carousels with any combination of assets. To follow along with this lesson, go ahead and upload the build along experience to your account. As you can see in the final experience, we are going to create a basic image carousel that will cycle through three different images when the user clicks on the arrows. To get started, let's go ahead and finish up the design of our experience. A few things we're missing are the arrows to navigate back and forth, as well as the hotspots to allow the user to interact with and trigger the cycle actions. Go ahead and search for an arrow you like from the media library or upload your own arrow icons. You can always duplicate one for the other side and simply hold shift over the corner to rotate it in 45 degree increments. Alternatively, you can right click on a duplicated arrow icon and select flip horizontal to achieve this quickly. While we're at it, let's also create two new hotspots over top of these icons to ensure the user has a large area to click on. Moving over to the Layers panel, you'll want to organize the content appropriately by placing anything you want to cycle through into its own folder or group. We'll name the folder Carousel in this case. Just make sure you only have the objects or groups of objects you want to cycle through in this folder and none of the navigation icons or hotspots. Now we can add our interactions. One quick tip that will save you a few clicks is to apply the interaction to both hotspots at once and then simply adjust one of them as needed. Select both of the hotspots we created in the Layers panel together. Next, navigate to the Interact tab and apply a click interaction with a Cycle Next action with the entire carousel folder as our target. Now, all we have to do is to adjust the left hotspot interaction to Cycle Previous. As you can see in the preview, the Cycle Next interaction will cycle through all of the assets in your carousel folder starting from the top down, while the Cycle Previous will do the opposite. In a later lesson, we'll take a deeper dive into the other group-based interactions to also add an image selector to our carousel.